Hello and welcome to another uh, Aligning Conversation. Today I'm here with Laura Jordan Bumbach, who is a determined optimist, a past DNAD president, co-founder of She Says, and chief creative officer at Grey London. Welcome, Laura. Thank you for being with me. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> so um, to begin with, just tell us a little bit about who you are, what you've been up to. Okay, so uh, I am the new Chief Creative Officer at Grey London. This is the beginning of week four. Um, it's been super, super exciting actually, but a very, very weird time to join a business. But previous to that, I was running my own agency for the best part of kind of seven, eight years called Mr. President um, as Chief Creative Officer there. Um, and have been working in London, I guess, for the last 20 years at different agencies, uh, very much on the design and digital side and moving, uh, moving into kind of advertising in the last, in the last while, I guess, and, and at Mr. President. Great. Um, well, yeah, tell us about starting a new job in lockdown, as many of us will probably do at some point soon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah um, it's, inter it's been interesting. There have been really great things about it, I think. Um, there is a certain kind of comf comfort in taking on a new job in, you know, in surroundings that, that you know, because um, I haven't even seen inside the great office yet. Um, uh, I've been meeting the, the most amazing people and, and I think there's a positive and ne a negative with being remote. The positive is you meet everyone kind of one-on-one -on -one a lot more than what you would otherwise because you, you know, in order to talk about things deeply, mm. very difficult to do that in a group online. Uh, the, the difficulty of that is it's just taking a lot longer to meet everyone that I need to meet. Yes. So I was kind of hoping week four, I will have met everyone, I will have met the clients, I'd be doing all of this stuff and actually it's a much slower process. Um, so that's been, that's been really fascinating. And of course it's really difficult slash challenging slash <laughs> there's, a, there's an opportunity in there uh you know time for the brands that we work with and and for agencies in general i think you know everyone's had to adapt to remote working um the different you know where you put your work has completely changed you know out of home is not really a, a place where you might put advertising when no one's out of home for example um so some things have become much more important and some things have become much less important um, and everything's really happened at speed. So I think that's that's been a really interesting challenge just for our industry is how we've been able to navigate that. Hmm. Yeah, well, that's really interesting and actually quite positive to hear that. So thank you. Uh, actually quite encouraging because it's definitely a daunting thought. Um, so she says, have you been continuing mm -hmm. that as you've been starting your new job and what's been going yeah, on? Yeah, absolutely. That? So we moved, she says, globally to uh to digital platforms um probably about five oh, it might even be longer than five weeks ago now all the all the weeks blur into one don't they when you're oh, in lockdown <laughs> certainly yeah maybe maybe it was more like eight weeks ago but soon after lockdown happened and we realized that it was going to be longer term because we have you know 55 different she says chapters all over the world mm. and it was really important that that they still continued so We've now got a global Zoom platform, but the individual chapters could be using that global Zoom for their own, Great. Um, their own needs. Because otherwise, you know, we're running in London, we were running maybe three events a month, but most places we're running an event a month. Uh, so that was a lot of face to face that we couldn't do anymore. We've also just launched a new website. So um, there's an amazing company called Sobold uh, down at London Bridge, actually. And uh, one of the developers there is uh, kind of on the, on the She Says um committee board in london so uh her and her business have, have completely redone a website for us which is fantastic so that's been a really great positive that's come out the last few weeks that's really really great i think there's a lot of positive obviously a lot of negatives but a lot of positives yeah. coming out of lockdown so um kind of how have you seen besides maybe out of home advertising changing mm -hmm. and us adapting to that but how how else has the industry been changing in front of your eyes and kind of the, the positives but also the challenges that you've been facing yeah so you know i think the positives are um for many people but not all people working from home is proving to be uh, a real plus 
and we've done quite a lot of uh, polls and that kind of stuff with with people at Grey to see how people are feeling and for the most part people are enjoying working from home I think people are missing some contact but there are groups of people for which it's just been really difficult if you're in a share house for example um, if you're you know kind of living with your parents without kind of the space to work you know properly yeah. have have the right conversations if you're in a house where you've got both parents working and not enough space that you can have two zooms at once and not get in each other's way or if you've got caring responsibilities all of those things are, are making it hard so um but i think you know so, so it's a positive and a negative but i think for the most part that's a positive um i think uh, i mean the negative is obviously there has been a lot of money just exit the industry so i think brands were very nervous about doing anything at all for a while some of them are starting again now but also you know the way we make work so you can't travel overseas you can't get insurance if you're doing a live shoot or haven't been able to get that you know insurance so shooting things live just hasn't been an option um so things have reverted to you know more copy-based stuff or mm. a little you know you've seen some animation uh you've obviously seen lots of zoom ads yeah <laughs> i've been trying to find other ways of telling a story mm. and then of course i think the other opportunity and it's a more long-term one is the stories are changing because having a story where the woman irons her shirt pops it on you know goes into work on the bus or on the tube or whatever and you know arrives at work with a beautiful shirt it's not a story that exists at the moment and it's not a story that's necessarily going to exist in the future i think there you know this will have a long-term impact in terms of how people work mm. um yeah as i said the, the media has obviously changed uh the brands that are winning are moving fast and they're saying you know they're, they're talking about things that are relevant to them i think there's been an awful lot of brands that have spoken about covid that maybe haven't needed to Mm. And then there have been some brilliant ones which have done some great work that feels right. Um, yeah, so kind of everything's changed. And, you know, thinking about all of you, actually, you know, one of the big things that changes is this is the time of the year. It's my favourite time of the year, right? When everyone has their grad shows and yeah. young talent. And I uh, think about, you know, bringing people into the agency and, and getting that atmosphere. And I think for grads and also for like the, the younger members of the team that camaraderie and the uh, being around other people is really really important and that's all gone and, you know the grad shows have kind of disappeared and we're suddenly looking at everything online and not getting to meet face to face you know I'm, I'm just like new blood is my favorite thing yeah you know and walking around and meeting everyone and collecting all the books and the posters and oh it'd be great when that happens again but I do you know I do feel for all of you who are kind of coming to the the end of your studies now and actually what I really care about is how can we as an industry support you all hmm. well it's been actually really great seeing how industry is pulling together I think there's been a lot of kind of portfolio review offers and things like that um hmm. but what is just to finish off what is your kind of yeah. number one tip to graduates <laughs> At least you know what, particularly <laughs> now when those of us like me who are really kind of proactive and go out and say, oh, oh no. <laughs> Sorry. No, that's absolutely fine. I'm glad we can start with <laughs> something like that. <laughs> um, I would say particularly now when those of us who are more proactive and go out and see all the grad shows and meet you can't, just don't be afraid of reaching out and sending stuff. And I know your colleges are sending work and you know sending websites where everyone's work is but just figure out who you want to work for and make sure you approach them and just like be a little bit more uh tenacious than than maybe you would have had to have been otherwise just kind of stick with it don't worry about offending people or like sending them too much you know just give them give them a couple of pokes and and make sure that you know you can get a response if you can hmm. uh, yeah absolutely so stick with it and be bold <laughs> bold yeah absolutely great well thank you so much for speaking with me today um